Hey guys, um, doing that evap or perch valve solenoid hose assembly to address uh, PE 1450 uh, code. Seen a lot of videos making this thing out to be something harder than it, than what it should be. Um, first thing off, they sell this piece by itself online. Do yourself a favor and just spend the money and buy the whole whole assembly. Uh, the reason I say that is because it's really difficult to make the repair here, unless you got that uh, hose repair kit, which I doubt. Uh, but for us peasants, you know, we don't have a choice. We have to buy the the whole assembly. Um, the way I came about is I removed the intake, obviously, to get more room. I ended up removing the throttle body to get more access and more the disability down here. What you got down here is the hose, that the coupling between the intake manifold and the hose assembly. What I ended up doing is I cut the hose off right here. I mean, since it's trash anyways, and then these hoses are pretty soft. I just squished it with my finger, moved, moved, it as, uh, moved the clamp as far back as I could. And then this thing is there tight, you know, with time, these things get tighter and dried up on there. So once I have the hose cut, cut and the hose clamp back, all I did was spin the hose until I hear it, you know, break loose. You can try with a, you know, small, it's hard to do with a small plier or whatever, but I did it with by hand and it, it you hear it like, like you can hear when it starts churning as, you know. So once it got loose, pulled it right off. Um, this is the new hose, by the way. Uh, I reused that old bracket so I didn't have to take none of this apart. Just unplug it. Uh, remove this rubber isolator out of the hook here and unclip it from right here and then undo the clip from the hose and it's down down in there just follow the line not that far in a uh, real quick way to disconnect the hose whenever you see the hose it's, this is actually gonna be facing down but um, all you got to do is pop the sides, you know, one, two, and it pops open. Should be pretty easy. Once, once, it's, once you pop the clip, it slides right out. So the install is reversal of what I just said. You know, I would try putting that hose under here first. Um, it should be able to slide right in. You can use a little dab of fresh oil or some saliva <laughs> even. And you know, loop that up and slide it in, <laughs> and you should be good to go. Just make sure you place that little clamp about that much far in. Like I said, it's a little. This is a little pain in the ass, but a lot of people over there playing with long hoses. I mean, uh, long needle nose uh, pliers and stuff like that, and, because they don't want to remove the intake. I mean, just take the intake off. It's already there. You're already here. I mean, it's a good time to clean your throttle body, all that stuff. So, um, you know, the screws are T30 uh, Torx. Uh, they don't go Gorilla tight, uh, you know. But it's, it's a fairly simple re uh, repair. And, um, you know, once you get this hose uh, put back in there, it just clips on. That's it. There's, there's nothing major about this. I don't know why people are making it out so difficult like I said all you need is some regular hose pliers you know some patience you don't want to run and you know rush through this just take your time you know save yourself some money uh, like I said the piece is pretty expensive for some people I mean it's I got mine for about a hundred bucks um, that's the part number D2BZ9C047F got that from Ford and uh, so like I said, it's a, you know, one time repair and you're done for a while. You know, I doubt this thing's ever going to go bad, you know, probably trash the car before then. But um, hopefully that helps you guys out. I, I, I just see a lot of videos making this thing harder than what it is. And um, honestly, it isn't, you know. So uh, if you do decide to clean your throttle body, use some uh, throttle body intake cleaner, not anything else. You get time to check your air filter, like intake tube, all that. Uh, I'm going to fiddle with this, uh, rig up some weird stuff on the intake. That's why I left it off. 
But that's pretty much it. You know, just put the intake back on, put your ho uh, your breather hose back in there, and you're good to go. Hope it helps, guys. Don't get ripped off. <laughs> Shady mechanics everywhere.